It's a bit puzzling, for lack of a better term, to look back on what it was like writing and recording this record. There isn't any one thing we could say that fully encapsulates what the process of assembling Dust and Disquiet was like for us. The attempt to do that is, in and of itself, maybe a decent analogy for what it was actually like to make it. Taking so many swirling, conflicting moods and emotions and trying to put it all to music. We're, we're no strangers to the process of making records now, but this was certainly a unique experience for us and one that can't be reduced down to one or even just a couple things. On brighter days, there was the sense of being pulled along by something. Those immediate moments of uncalculated inspiration or an essential breakthrough that took months. The kind of pull that reaches out across the big divides and keeps you in constant forward motion, you know, hurtling you towards your goal and constantly reaffirming your sense of purpose. On darker days, it felt more like having to push, climbing up a mountain that ascends into fog and without a vista at the top, letting the gloom and the pressures and the insecurities sort of creep back in. That constant push can become tiring and destabilizing in ways you never really imagined so many years ago when the creative process was much more simple and uncomplicated. There were definitely moments throughout this that brought us into deep, heavy conflict with parts of ourselves and sometimes even with each other. You know, when you're aggressively trying to reclaim whatever it is about music that you love and you need it to help make sense of the things I mentioned earlier. Those kind of self and group interrogations are probably going to occur. In some ways, this record helped us not to shy away from those in the future and to embrace them beyond just the sense of satisfaction that came with feeling like we got what we needed to get across. That was ultimately one of the gifts this process gave us.
going back to the dynamic between the push and pull that slowly materialized over the course of this and manifested itself in those ways and in so many others, you know, that dynamic really did end up being, I think, the central thesis of the record. Fully acknowledging that those ups and downs have their place, both in the process of creation and in the bigger picture of, you know, the human condition in general or whatever. Embracing that, hopefully, led to the sincerity that we've been trying to capture with this band from day one. You know, we always seem to find it in different places. Uh, being able to finally discover it amidst this more demanding and challenging process, I think was indeed the victory here. Our hope is that people cannot just hear that musically, but can feel it somewhere really deep inside of themselves, you know, somewhere partitioned away inside a hidden room of their house that they've never been in, so to speak. <laughs>